Salam. That means hello in Amharic, an Ethiopian language. Let's get to the story. Tinty Winty Animals by Joan Emerson. Animals come in all shapes and sizes. Some are big and some are small. Some are short and some are tall. This book will introduce you to some of the smallest creatures from the air, land, and sea. If you look carefully, you'll find that that teensy wincy animals that are all around. Would you believe that as a baby, the dwarf sloth is shorter than an adult human's finger? Even when it's full grown, it'll still be small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Yet, the dwarf spot is special for more than it's just a small size. For one thing, its fur is slightly green. Also, this little guy can turn its head all the way around. Usually, the rhinoceros is not considered as a small animal. An adult African lion is made more than a pickup truck, but the smaller lion is six times smaller than its giant rhino allergies. The littlest member of the rhino species lives in the rainforest of Southeast Asia, and it has existed for over 1 million years. But today, there are fewer than 300 left in the old world. So the story was saying that this rhino is the smallest rhino, so rhinoceros. Let's go. This tiny penguin is the smallest of all 17 penguin species. It is just slightly larger than the carton of eggs. Usually, a penguin's feathers are black and white, but the ferris has spots of blue, too. While many penguins live in the snow and ice of Antarctica, the fairy penguin makes its home in Australia and New Zealand. Okay, so this penguin is so small that it actually is, but it's really not something. Actually, it is blue, not black. The dwarf gecko found in on the Caribbean island of Beth, the Nara Republic, is the smallest known lizard in the world. It means that it is really small, smaller than any other lizard, even a even smaller than a chameleon. It is less known than an inch long. That's the size of a penny, like bigger geckos. The dwarf gecko has transparent eyelids. They are cute. They are really, really cute. To keep them clean, they lick their eyelids with their tongues. This, even though for that, the transparent eyelids are really cute anyway. Before we read this story, look at this little anteater. It is really trying to cry right now. The silky anteater lives in the, in the tropical rainforest of Mexico and it is the smaller of all anteater species. If you thought this is the anteater that I showed you off, it was this one, not that. It is, this tiny animal is smallest of all anteater species. It is no longer than a pencil. The silky anteater travels through trees by using its tail to swing from branch to branch. And of course, like other anteaters, it needs also mostly ants. It can devour up to 800 ants in just one night. Wow, that is so much ants for just one small. Wolfy octopus. Look at this octopus. It looks really small. The wolfy octopus lives in the, in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and it is the smallest of all for 300 species of octopus. The world's largest octopus is as long as a school bus. But the wolfie is only the size of a paper clip. That's really small. It may be the world's smallest octopus, but the wolfie still has eight arms just like all other octopuses. So this just means that all octopuses have eight arms. Jellyfish is seven. The urchin screw is no longer than a child's pinky finger, and it isn't known as the smallest kind of screw. It actually weights less than any other land mammal on the planet. Yet yeah, this small animal can still eat a lot. The urchin screw eats up to twice its body weight every day. That is a lot of worms. See that the screw looks like a mouse? If you don't know what screws are, this information can help. World's smallest dog. As a baby, Millie the Tanchua can fit in a teaspoon. 
Her owner wanted to make sure she was healthy and safe, so Milky drank. So Millie drank milk from an eyedropper and slept inside the dog's crib with her owner's help. Miracle Millie grew bigger and stronger. Yet she only still she still only weighs one pound. In 2023, this this earned her title of the world's smallest dog. It's 2013, not eventually. It's 2013, but not at this. Munchkin cat. This munchkin cat looks like any other cat, with one big difference: it has very short legs. Also, the difference is it has a really small face. The munchkin cat body only stands around six inches off the ground. Its legs may be short, but its personality is big. That's why so many people around like to keep this friendly and playful cat as a pet. I don't have this cat yet. Only I have another kind of cat. It's like. Before we start the story, remember this is not considered as a small animal, but it's really, really small. So it is considered as the small species. Pygmy goats first came from Western Africa in the 1950s. They were brought to zoos in the United States, like where we are now. Now a lot of people love to keep pygmy goats as pets. They are around 20 to 20 inches tall and about 50 pounds. That's as small as a dog. An original size dog. At home at the African rainforest, the royal antelope gets the crown of being the small species of antelope. It looks like a small deer. Most antelopes are about the size of a small horse, but the royal antelope is only the size of a small lap dog. Could you imagine cuddling with one on your couch? I don't find I don't miss this frog. It's hard to say that word. There are plenty of small frogs in this world, but the but the smallest frog I can say these two words is the smallest. It's small enough to fit in the center of a dime. For a long time, no one knew this little frog existed. In twenty in twenty twelve, scientists discovered in the rainforest of New Guinea is the is the remember I can say these words. The smallest frog isn't just the smallest frog; it's also the smallest vertebrate on Earth. Remember, this elephant is the smallest elephant on Earth, but it's not a mechamed of a small animal. Mouse, hamster, bunny, elephant. Remember, I just said this. But the pygmy elephant is much smaller than the elephants that you see at the zoo. Found in the jungles of Morano. This pygmy elephant has large ears, straight tusks, and a long tail that sometimes drags on the ground when it walks. I'll give you some time to read the message I didn't read right now. Dwarf hamsters are half the size of regular hamsters, and all of these little dwarf hamsters, the Rakabashi hamster, is the smallest. It can fit in the palm. It's shorter than a cramp, and it can fit in the palm of your hand. Sometimes called the robo hamster, it was the first discovered in Rhina, China, and Kashiyan. Today, kids all over the world keep these robo hamsters as pets. Ciao. It this means bye bye in any other language that is not even English.